How's it going guys? This is Ryan with All Pro Maintenance. Episode number eight. Today I got in for you guys is a yard remodel. So first of all, we're gonna be doing I'm gonna rototill all this and mix in some soil and put some new seed down. And this one right here, I'm going to cut down with the chainsaw and they just want them buried. So I'm gonna try to get this one as low as possible, rototill all of this, bury it down. And then I'm gonna rototill this garden right here, rip out these bricks right here, put some new bricks down. And I'm gonna plant a Sega palm right there, Sega palm right there, two plants and then one plant in between. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be a nice setup. Um, also right here, I'm going to replace all these bricks too as well. I'm gonna put a Sega palm right there, a Sega palm right there, a little plant right there, and a little plant on the other side to match with the steps when you're walking up. Two rose bushes, and then two little um, daisy looking flowers. Um, just because right now the roses are dor dormant. So I wanna add some kind of color to the roses while they're there and they kick off. So I'm gonna be rototilling all this section all this section going down um, get it all cleaned up and I'm gonna go pick up some soil some mulch and in the garden I'm gonna throw some mulch too as well I'm gonna rototill this rip out this little section right here all those little bricks and rototill this level it out fill all in those little cracks and crevices and uh, yeah stay tuned guys i'm telling you this is gonna be a good video a good learning experience for me and a good learning experience for you guys so stay tuned <laughs> So, got that all rototilled. Got this all rototilled right here. Got the planter all rototilled. All the bricks taken out. I also got all the bricks taken out right here. Ripped out that rose bush, ripped out that other rose bush. Rototilled on there. I'm gonna take out all the weeds, grass. Hit the edges. Real quick, break it all down, level it out, throw any dirt I don't need in there out here because I'm going to level all this out too. Fill in those two holes that were up there in the front where the wood was, where the tree was. And then I came back here. I rototilled it twice. I rototilled it twice because it has a lot of roots and just a lot of weeds and stuff. And it's just going to make it a lot easier. I'm just going to level it all out, rip all the old weeds. Look how many roots. I mean, those th those are some thick roots. Aren't just some small little roots from all the trees and all the droppings in here too. So I ripped all that out, rake it, level it. If I have to, I'll get my riding lawnmower, level it all out, be good to go. 
got this all ripped out ripped out all the bricks that were right there so uh yeah now i'm gonna be cleaning it all up getting it all leveled out and get ready to get these planters looking sharp probably go pick up some topsoil some mulch today and bricks and uh yeah bada bing bada boom baby So pulling out all the the wood, the weed, all the roots, getting all leveled out. I'm gonna rip out these front bricks right here too as well. That way it's all even with the cement. Got the planter all leveled out. Took some dirt out of there, threw it over here, filled in this hole, filled in that hole. That way when I put the mulch, levels up a little bit below the rocks, the decorative rocks. sticks and everything I just need to pick up these two little piles right here but got all the sticks removed and went and actually picked up some brick picked up 52 bricks um, some nice uh, decorative and it has some nice texture to it I actually just laid them out right here just to see what they would look like I'm gonna take them out now put the weed blocker down level it all out and then put the bricks up and then you know get all my plants in but actually i'm just thinking right now i'm gonna probably plant the plants after i put the weed blocker i'll just splice it and then put them in the hole i'm thinking so yeah it's gonna look really good with how that is i got this all leveled out it doesn't seep in now gotta pick up all that i pulled out all the old grass and stuff so actually looking really good i got um all this leveled out now there was a little hole dipping into that corner uh i pulled the dirt filled it all in ripped out all these bricks right here all the bricks along there and the brick line that was right there so got this all leveled out now um i'm gonna go pick up some soil right now I'll videotape that too as well. I think it's a cool little process when you go and grab the mulch. Um, it's a cool little process. They get it at a little tractor, dump it in the back. So yeah, I'm going to set up right now the tripod, get these bricks laid out. That way I know what it looks like, pull the plants out, and uh, yeah, let's get things started. <laughs> so I'm just laying them out right now just to see what they're gonna look like they're gonna look pretty decent actually I like them I like how it turns around I gotta go and grab about five more five more and I'll be good so I was off a little bit with the measurements but it will look good Alright guys, 
so this is how I think I'm gonna set them on up. Got the Sega palms, the two bushes, the white to throw off the trim. Another Sega palm, the two white sickle nails, two desert plants, Oops, Sega palm, two roses with the yellow ones at the bottom, and then another Sega palm. So yeah. That right there so far. Next, I'm gonna plant them, get them in the ground, get the weed blocker, cut it out, place it even underneath the bricks so none of the grass flows up through the bricks too as well. And uh, once I get the weed blocker down, tomorrow I'm gonna go and pick up the red mulch, fill it in, it's gonna look fantastic. Today, we're gonna go and pick up the soil. I'm gonna pick up a couple cubic yards, uh, lay the soil out, then do a light rototill with the soil, mix it in, throw some seed down, level it out, and we'll be good to go, guys. I'm also gonna put seed on this side right here, going all the way up. So, still got some work to do and uh, more uh, footage to come for you guys. So it works out for you guys. Thanks, be back. All right, guys, so just got to the nursery right now. Um, I'm gonna see if I could fit two cubic yards in the back, but I'm pretty sure I'll only be able to fit a cubic and a half. So I'm gonna get it loaded up first before I pay. People here are really nice. I'm just learning, uh, I'm just getting with them, you know what I mean? Learning uh, the steps. So we're gonna do a, another half a cubic yard. See if we can fit it back there. As you can tell, bam. I'm excited guys, I'm trying to get done. I'm learning as I go, seeing what I can fit, you know? Cool, thank you so much. Half a cubic right there. Man. Cubic and a half. Damn, guys. Perfect. You're good, man. Thank you so much. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, have a wonderful day. And that's how it's done, guys. Damn. Got her all loaded with topsoil. Looks good. So, from here on, I'll meet you guys back at the house. All right, guys, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be taking all the soil, spreading it throughout here, get ready so I can lay the seed, and then I'm gonna put the weed blocker all through the plants, get those planted today, go pick up some mulch, and we'll be good to go. Stay tuned. <music> they got going here good little business makes it easy and that right there is a money maker that's how you do it guys so stay tuned
is all planet. what I'm using. Premium Kentucky 31 tall fescue. Alright guys, so here is the finishing product. Got it all seated. Desert plants. Then what I did was I came over here and I also got this on. Man. Rotor till all this, seated it, and then did the I'm gonna put some right here actually. And then did all this. Did this right here. Boom boom boom. I'm gonna go pick up those six bricks. They just came in right now, so I'm gonna go pick those up.